Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ranger Dave, and welcome to my show, Hunting Mythical Beings That Most Likely Do Not Exist. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Today's episode is probably the last one, because my show... Whoa! A creature that I never found! I knew the mysterious, magical, camera-covering finger followed me home from that one episode. Ha! Huh, that's incredible! Anyways, so uh, today we're going to be hunting something in the suburbs of Western Pennsylvania, known as the Home Slice Sloth. Now this creature is said to have roamed throughout the trees, making obnoxious screeching noises that really get on everyone's nerves. And today, I'm going to prove that it's real. So, without further ado, let's begin the hunt for the Home Slice Sloth. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ranger Dave, as you can see. I've got my Explore gear on, and we are here in a suburban community of Pennsylvania. AKA, the home of the home slice sloth. Now, we're going to begin looking for some of the signs that he's here. But where do we start? Local urban legends say that the home slice sloth reacts directly to a sacrificed piece of rope. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, we wait. <laughs> it's been like five hours. We got nothing here, guys. This, this is an extraordinary find. Right here, we have evidence of the home slice sloth's habitat. It is said that the home slice sloth puts these random things in trees in order to survive and spend the night above ground. I think we're getting somewhere now. Now, for the next step in hunting the home slice sloth. Oops, I forgot my hat. This is truly incredible. Now that we have found evidence of the sloth, we need to find the sloth itself. And what better way to do that than to search the area around its habitat, since it's clearly not in the habitat. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick perimeter sweep, and I'll walk around and just look for it. I think it might be over there. Alright, so I'm searching the perimeter around the habitat. We might find something interesting, I'm not really sure. Um... I think I might hear him calling. That's a good sign we're heading in the right direction. Right, so I see, I see some cars and stuff. And I, I see some houses. I don't, I don't see a sloth. I, I don't. There's a, a stop sign over there. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not... Seems like there are children outside enjoying themselves. <laughs> Peasants. Don't they know that there's a truly dangerous monster out here? That's what I'm for. Ha ha. You know, this show actually makes me some pretty good decent money. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's fun. I, I barely ever find anything, obviously. But I've got a good feeling about this one. I have a really, really, really great feeling about it. Alright guys, I... I don't know, this hasn't been one of my greatest expeditions of all time. I mean, I thought I had a lead, but... I've got nothing. I mean, I've been searching for... It's been like, eight hours, and... And I've got nothing. I've been looking around the same area the whole time. Because, you know, the home slice sloth, it never leaves 20 feet of its its own, you know, habitat. And if it does, it's only for food, and it comes back in 10 minutes. I think, I, I think I've finally given up on this. Hey. Wait a minute. I never looked the one place that was really obvious. Right behind me! 